What's up everybody, John McLean here, and today we're gonna cover the Vortex AMG UH1 Gen 2. So let's crack this baby open, see what's inside, and then talk a little bit about the optic and why I like it so much. Now when it comes to opening Vortex packages, I love it because their packaging is always so nice. Very uh, high detailed instruction manual here. We've got some extra padding. It comes with a lens cloth cleaner. It comes with a CR123A battery so you can just plug and play. And then of course we've got the optic. Now you'll notice that aesthetically, they've made some of these cool little cuts in it. I think it makes it look a lot better. Um, and, and because it kind of reduces some of the size of the housing, you'll notice that there's no micro USB port for rechargeable batteries. Now the battery compartment is toolless. It has this little flip up piece that you just flip up, unscrew it, you insert the battery positive side down into the optic, put the battery cap in, and you're ready to plug and play. Now, the other thing with the buttons is that you'll notice there's the plus and minus. That's obviously how you turn it on, make the brightness setting go up, down, and then there's that NV button. If you push and hold down the NV button, the optic enters night vision mode, push and hold it down again to go back to standard, and then if you push both buttons at the same time, you turn the optic off. Now the UH1 Gen 2's MSRP is about $899, and believe me when I say it's worth the money. This is an absolutely fantastic site. I actually run this on my JP Rifles PCC, the GMR15s that I run. Um, and and the, the reason for that is because of the reticle, because it's got that uh, EBR CQB reticle in there. You've got the one MOA dot in the middle, and then you have the delta point down on the bottom of the op or of the reticle. And basically, that's gonna be, I, I sight my dot in for about 40 yards, and then the delta point is actually uh, my reference point when I'm aiming at a target that is within close range where I have to compensate for the offset, um, I use that delta point. So if I'm going for a headshot at like five yards, for example, I don't put the one MOA dot in the middle of the head, I put that delta in the middle of the head and pull the trigger. So it's just something that's really quick to reference um, so that you don't have to try and think about like, oh, well, I have to put the dot at the top of the head if I want to hit it. No, it's, I got to put the delta point wherever I want the bullet impact to be. So um, that's one of the reasons why I absolutely love that reticle. And um, and as far as this site goes, not that I don't love the other red dots that Vortex made, uh, the Spark AR uh, Solar is actually one of my new favorite ones just because I love the aspect of it shutting off and then having a sensor in it so that when you move the gun, whether or not you're picking it up or anything like that, it will turn back on. The um, thing I like about this optic is that the field of view between now that the back window is a little bit bigger as we as we talked about um, the, the field of view and the clarity that you get through this site is just second to none I mean it really is a high quality um, optic when it comes to the clarity and the visibility of the reticle itself so that is the vortex AMG UH1 Gen 2 man it just looks good too I, I, I really like what they did aesthetically for it so um, Guys, make sure you go check it out. They've got them available uh, to purchase at most of your Vortex dealers. Well, most of your Vortex dealers will have these in stock and uh, it's, it's just an awesome site. Go check it out. If you see me on the range and you wanna check it out, let me know. I'll be more than happy to let you send a couple rounds uh, down range with it. So, all right, uh, thanks for tuning in again. I'm John McLean. Catch you on the next one.